morning, friends. I hope you guys are doing well this morning. I have a game I'd like to play. It's called Rock, Paper, Scissors. Have you ever played? Well, you probably have, but just in case you haven't, let's go over the rules. I'm going to count down. Three, two, one, go. And then you're going to make either a rock, scissors, or paper with your hands. Paper beats rock, rock beats scissors, and scissors beats paper. Okay? Let's go ahead and play a few rounds together. You can play along at home. Ready? Three, two, one, go. I chose rock. So if you chose paper, then you win. But if you chose scissors, I win. Let's try again. Three, two, one, go. I chose scissors. So if you chose paper, then I win. But if you chose rock, you win. All right, ready? Let's do it one more time. Three, two, one, go. I did paper. So if you did rock, then I win. But if you did scissors, you win. This is a really fun game, isn't it? It's one of my favorites. The fun thing about rock, paper, scissors is that you could be a winner no matter what you choose each round. Today, I have something to show you. I have real paper, rock, and scissors with me. I have real rock, paper, scissors. All of these items are extremely useful. If you wanted to write a letter, you could use this piece of paper. If you wanted to cut a piece of paper, you could use these scissors. They'd be very helpful. If you were really, really, really thirsty and you needed a drink of water, a rock might be exactly what you need. Wait, don't you think a rock would be helpful if you needed a drink of water? Have you ever gotten a drink of water from a rock? What do you usually do when you're thirsty? Maybe go to the kitchen and get water from the sink? Well, in our Bible story today, they actually get water from a rock. That's exactly what happens. Let's read from our story and hear exactly how these people got water from a rock. Let's read together. This story is called Manna, Quail, and Water. God loved the Israelites and their leader, Moses. God promised to bring these people to a place where they could build homes and live happily. They had never lived outside of Egypt before, and they were afraid. But God went with them as they walked long and far to the place that God had promised. Traveling was hard and tiring. Along the way, the people became hungry. They complained to Moses. I'm so hungry, one boy cried. I wish we could just go back to Egypt, whined a little girl. At least we had food to eat there, her stomach growled. The people missed their dinners of meat and bread. The Israelites didn't know that God had heard their complaining. That evening, something strange happened. Tiny birds called quails appeared everywhere. God had sent these quails so that the people could eat meat. The next morning, the ground glistened with fresh dew. Even after the sun dried up the dew, there was still something covering the ground. It looked like bread had rained down from heaven. It was manna. The manna looked like tiny seeds and tasted like bread. The people ate and ate. Every day, God sent manna and quails so that the people had food to eat. The Israelites kept traveling toward the place that God had promised. After a while, they ran out of water. Even though God had given them food when they were hungry, the people still complained. My mouth feels dry like a desert, sobbed one child. The people were thirsty. This time, God told Moses to hit a rock with his staff, and when he did, water gushed out of the rock. People had more than enough water to drink. 
God gave food and water to the Israelites every day. And God took care of the people just like God had promised. We can learn a lot from Moses and his story. God helped Moses and the Israelites. Now, God didn't take away all of their hurt, but he did help provide for them. God doesn't take away all of our hurt or the hard things in our life. But God does provide for us when we go through hard times. We have to remember to go to God and ask for his help. Let's pray together and thank God for providing for us. Dear God, thank you for water in the wilderness and hope in the dark. Help us to remember to always come to you. Amen. Thank you guys for joining me this morning. I hope you had fun playing rock, paper, scissors. It was so much fun for me too. I can't wait to see you guys next week and I hope you guys all have a wonderful week. Bye guys.